Hurricane Ida's destruction was widespread, but it hit senior citizens especially hard. From the ill-fated evacuation into a flooded warehouse in Tangipaho to the abandonment of sweltering senior living centers in the metro area, at least 12 seniors died in the chaos. HUD Secretary Marsha Fudge was on hand today to survey some of that lingering damage and extend a promise of federal help. Mike Pearlstein has that story. Flanked by members of Louisiana's congressional delegation, HUD Cabinet Secretary Marsha Fudge toured senior apartments in Kenner and New Orleans today, pushing a bipartisan aid package to help people pick up the pieces after Hurricane Ida. We expect for something to be done in the next few weeks. Uh, obviously, that is not a guarantee, but that is what we are hoping for and we are working towards. While nursing home patients and residents of senior apartments were especially hard hit, from death to displacement, Fudge said targeted aid for seniors is more of a state responsibility. But if there's a local push, she said things like community development block grants from HUD could be used to help. But as soon as our staff finds out about it, we try to intervene as best we can. The cabinet secretary got an eyeful from the severely damaged and now vacated Westminster Tower in Kenner to a complex in New Orleans in which residents were left in sweltering conditions because generator power did not extend to individual apartments. Secretary Fudge's second stop was the gust high rise for senior citizens. And while many of the residents here said they appreciate the attention, they want that backed up by action. Talk is good, but uh, action. <laughs> things got to be fixed right. It ain't things that we want, it's things that we need. Fudge and the Louisiana lawmakers will soon return to Washington to try and turn their promises into concrete resources for the people of this hurricane battered region, especially the most vulnerable. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. After the slow and sometimes inequitable funding, federal funding following Hurricane Katrina 16 years ago, Fudge promised less red tape and a focus on making sure minorities and the economically disadvantaged are not overlooked. And we'll have more on that coming up tonight on the Eyewitness News at 10.